We are back in the laundry lab, and in this episode, it is dryer sheets versus dryer balls. Before we get into differences, let's hear from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. First, let's take a look at what they have in common. They both help to reduce static electricity, to reduce wrinkles, and to soften your clothing, which is what we tend to use those items for. Now, let's take a look at cost. A box of three or four dryer balls can cost anywhere from $12 to $20. And the nice thing about the dryer balls is that they are reusable, so you can get about 1,000 wash loads or almost three years worth of washes done with dryer balls. This comes out to about two cents per load. So here's the thing about dryer sheets. They're single use sheets. And if you're doing a large load, you may need to put in two sheets. So that comes out somewhere around four to five cents per load. So using the dryer sheets are almost twice as much as using the dryer balls. Let's take it point by point. Dryer balls are unscented. There's no chemicals added to create a fragrance. Dryer balls also tend to be hypoallergenic, so you don't have to worry about some chemical in the dryer ball coming in contact with the clothing, which comes in contact with your family's skin and causing some problems with allergies. If you like, you can add a couple of drops of your favorite essential oil to the dryer ball and then create a scent in the dryer balls and in your laundry yourself but you know exactly what's going into that fragrance you know what chemical it is dryer sheets can come unscented but they still have chemicals added chemicals added to soften chemical added to reduce wrinkles and static electricity and chemicals added to add fragrance if you choose a dryer sheet that has a fragrance. The chemicals added leave a residue on the clothing which can affect absorbency. That's why so often your towels become less absorbent over time is because of the chemical buildup that occurs from using fabric softener. And a dryer sheet is a form of fabric softener. These chemicals can cause allergies and they are harmful to the environment. Dryer balls are reusable whereas dryer sheets are single-use items. Dryer balls are biodegradable, whereas dryer sheets, not so much so. And dryer balls soften and reduce drying time by bouncing around in the dryer. They provide an agitation by creating more space among the clothing, allowing more airflow, and so it reduces drying time, but also helps to soften the clothing dryer sheets softened by chemical additives. Now let's talk about chemical transfer. Dryer sheets use chemicals to soften, which leave behind a chemical residue, which builds up over time in your clothing and your linens. As I mentioned earlier, this buildup of residue on your towels reduces their absorbency. So those towels that were once soft and fluffy now become scratchy, stiff, and not so absorbent. With dryer balls, there's no chemical transfer because there's no added chemicals. When we look specifically at environmental effects, the dryer sheets often end up in the landfill, which sometimes end up on the ground. Birds that are nesting may pick out some of those dryer sheets to line their nests with, and the chemicals in the dryer sheets can prove harmful to nestlings. Dryer balls, since they're typically made of wool, are biodegradable, so they're environmentally friendly. Now let's talk about disadvantages. With the dryer balls, they can be just a little bit noisy. They're bouncing around in the dryer because their bouncing action helps to increase the space between the clothing, allows airflow, reduces drying time, but you do hear the noise of them bouncing around. And 
whereas the noise can be annoying, it doesn't affect efficiency or safety. I can't say the same thing about dryer sheets. Dryer sheets reduce the effectiveness of the flame retardant materials in children's sleepwear. So you should not use dryer sheets when you're watching children's sleepwear. You don't have that concern with dryer balls. Now here's another thing in regard to safety. Because of the chemical residue that builds up in the fabric, that builds up in the lint, and then the lint is in the lint trap, a spark can lead to a house fire. You don't have that concern with dryer balls. Based upon my experience and limited research, I believe dryer balls are the best option. You get the softening that you're looking for, it reduces static electricity, it reduces wrinkling, but you don't have the environmental concerns and the safety concerns with the dryer balls that you have with dryer sheets. And I prefer the wool dryer balls rather than the plastic dryer balls. Now here's something else. Some people will choose to use tennis balls to simulate that dryer ball effect, but tennis balls are not built to withstand the heat that comes from a clothes dryer, and also there could be some dye transfer from the tennis ball to your clothing. So if you're going to use dryer balls, you really should use dryer balls that are built for that purpose. I'll put a link in my description box showing some of my favorite wool dryer balls. And you can also check out my Amazon store. And if you want to completely eliminate purchased fabric softener, you can use something you probably already have at home, and that is white vinegar. Just put one half cup of white vinegar in the rinse cycle and your clothes will come out smelling fresh, they'll be soft, and if you're worried about a residual smell of vinegar, don't worry about that because it all comes out in the rinse. What are your laundry challenges? Tell me in the comment section below and maybe next time we're in the laundry lab I'll be answering one of your laundry questions. Today's laundry question came from Gail Mento, so Gail, thank you for the video suggestion. And if you want to know the best way to care for your blue jeans, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another episode of In the Laundry Lab. And I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit us at www.aprendiva.com.